This is Rob Finfrock for Aero TV at Sebring 2009, the U.S. Sport Aviation Expo. Behind us is the latest third generation version of a very popular platform in the worldwide sport aviation market, the Sting S3. Bill's going to tell us a little bit about today what makes this plane even more special than the second generation Sting Sport, which I actually have a little bit of time in. And I must say, it was the first LSA I ever flew, a very responsive aircraft, and a very, very attractive aircraft on the ramp, Bill. And with the S3, you've made an attractive plane even more so. I'll, I'll get my dollars out now and tell you. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Uh, it is a fun plane to fly. It's, uh, I went to Europe five years ago and searched through all the manufacturers looking both for uh, quality control and production capability and an airplane that presented well and then flew as good as it looked and I kept coming back to the sting. So after visiting many countries, I was very satisfied with what I met over there and become, have become close friends with all of the members of the TL family in the Czech Republic. Tell me about the, uh, the general design innovations that the S3 has over the second generation predecessor, the Sting Sport. It's really very simple. The, the wing is a little longer and it has a little shorter cord. It allows a little higher climb rate and a little higher, uh, a little lower stall speed at no cost and cruise speed. So uh, the major change would be the length of the wing and we've added additional flaps. The aerodynamics of the aircraft are so clean that we use idle power in our patterns and we add flaps to increase drag. For instance, the first setting of flaps is more lift than drag, and the second setting is more drag than lift. You use drag in order to be able to approach the runway at the right angle, and we go to great lengths to teach people uh, when they come to us for their training to recognize that angle, and they'll be safe in any runway. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. Tell me a little bit about the straight and level system that you offer with the autopilot on the S3. All right, Rob, it's a, a very simple button that we did a little software working with our supplier uh, and, and we're able to allow the passenger to activate the autopilot system at any attitude or any pitch control. All he does is push one button and the autopilot will remember the heading at that point and the altitude and if you're going down it will come back to that, go back to that heading and stabilize. If you're going up it'll just lower the nose and it won't exceed 118 knots going down nor 60 knots going up so there's no way that the aircraft will stall under the autopilot's control without the pilot being uh, available to assist it. The S3 is a very well, uh, very fully featured offering, and it seems to me that you're targeting a particular type of buyer with the aircraft, perhaps somebody of, of a more professional pilot. Originally, our business case was what can we sell that will satisfy people and be absolutely safe? Our motto is fly safe, fly fun, which results in the, the, the kind of flying that you want to do. The clientele that we're, we we most appeal to are people who are used to having those things. They already have a Baron, they already have a Bonanza, but they don't want to take it out for a hundred dollar hamburger. They want to have something that's fun, nimble, easy to fly. Uh, we don't offer a back seat, we don't offer a constant speed prop, but our technology business case is to continue to add items to the plane that improve safety. Uh, and you mentioned the straight and level button. We intentionally made that as a task reliever for the pilot. It sort of becomes uh, something for the passenger as a, as a sense of security if they are not familiar with flight. But if the pilot is busy, he can just do that and the airplane will take care of itself and he can finish those tasks and then turn it off and continue about what he's doing. So it's, it's really a usable tool and everything we do in the plane is, is focused that way. We are, we are driven to look for sail, fail safe points, to eliminate points at which uh, you'll have errors. Even the, the switching system is arranged so that the, the checklist goes down the switches and turning it off, the switches go backwards. So you're not all over the cockpit with stuff. And it's just um, the way we approach the, the, the design, the layout of the aircraft, which in turn brings on safety.
and, and we're very pleased with our safety record and we're pleased with the, the clientele and the customers that we have. Uh, we contact every customer personally every month. It's just a way for us to get feedback on the goods and bads, uh, the, the successes they've had or the trips they've had, and then we consolidate that into a monthly thing that we call Sting Notes. So we publish a summary of what we've heard from our customers, we publish the latest in the Rotax uh, service bulletin, so they do it, and, and we're required by the ASTM standards to continue to provide an ongoing quality control program of monitoring how the aircraft is performing and how the customers are using it and it's just become a, a, a simple way of also doing a business plan. Welcome to the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource. Real-time, 24-7 online, audio, and video programming, where aviation has been getting updated for over a decade. Distributing over 11,000 stories, features, audio, and video programs every year, only ANN covers aviation and aerospace with this much depth, insight, and expertise. Check us out on the web at aero-news.net. What kind of training program do you have for customers who are stepping into the Sting S3? We did several things, Rob. We, we, we contact, first, we contacted the insurance companies in general and said, what would you like to see if a customer brought you an LSA? And, and without exception, they said, we want to see some training. These are very simple to operate aircraft, but they do take some uh, getting used to in that their speeds are inordinately low compared to any of the civil aviation aircraft. So you don't want to try to push it onto the runway too fast. We also uh, found that they were very interested in wh what kind of parts supply was available. They did not want to, in the case of some of these European planes, they didn't want to have a, a damaged aircraft and have to wait for shipment to Europe. So we carry in stock about a quarter of a million dollars worth of parts. And as a part of that, we have a safety training program that you cannot have this airplane. We will not give it to you until you've completed a minimum of five hours with our instructors at Little Rock. All of our training is, is, is coordinated there, and you may stay as long as you wish. We've had gentlemen stay as long as 11 hours. That's okay with us. But until you say, we say that your five hours are complete and you're competent, and you say, I think I'm ready to go, then we both know that you understand how the airplane functions, how its systems work, what to do in case of an uh, inadvertent problem, and, and that protects you and it protects our long-term business plan. So it's, it's a mutually beneficial program. Well, it strikes me that you seem to have the initial stages of the sales process in place, but you also have service after the sale as a philosophy for Sport Air. You have the aircraft that offers a very attractive entry into the market. Bill, I wish you the very best of success with the Sting S3 and any future models you may have down the line. Rob, I'm already having.